All right, we are halfway through the year. It's time for our mid-year 2020 housing market update. So for the purposes of this video, we're gonna be talking about single family homes only in Boca, Parkland, and Coral Springs. That's primarily where our team does most of our business. We're not gonna be talking about condos or townhouses, and we're not gonna be talking about 55 and over communities or country clubs. That's a different market entirely, so we're not gonna be talking about that. What we like to give you in these videos are the leading indicators showing you where the real estate market is headed, not where it's been. So when you see these type of videos from the media, typically they'll talk about the average sales price and things like that. The sales price is typically reflective of what happened 30, 60, sometimes even 90 days ago when that property went under contract. So we're gonna give you the leading indicators showing you where the housing market is headed. So the first stat we like to look at is the number of new homes coming on the market. That is down 21%. As you can obviously imagine with everything going on in the world with COVID, uh, a lot of sellers are choosing not to put their home on the market this year. They don't want random people coming through their house. So we're seeing a lot fewer homes on the market. And with that, we're seeing slightly fewer sales, but the number of homes coming under contract is only down 6%. So we're seeing way fewer homes on the market and sales are just down only a little bit. So it's creating a big supply and demand imbalance. There's not a lot of supply and demand is still relatively high for everything going on in the world. So as you can imagine, with that going on, the days on market is come down. So days on market is down about 10%. So homes are selling a lot faster and there's a lot less to choose from. So what we're seeing on most, of, most homes right now is a multiple offer situation. There's a lot of demand for every single home. The last stat we'd like to look at is the number of months supply of inventory. So what this means is that if no more homes were to hit the market, how fast would it take for all of the homes that are currently for sale to come off the market and sell? That number is just under three months. It's 2.94 months. Anything less than six months is a seller's market. Anything more than six months is a buyer's market. So we are definitely in a strong seller's market. In Coral Springs, we're seeing 1.25 months of inventory right now at the beginning of July. It is a very, very, very strong seller's market right now in Coral Springs and all over South Florida because we don't have a lot to choose from. And like I said, buyer demand is still high. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you're a seller or if you're thinking about selling, this is a really, really good time to put your home on the market. doesn't matter what the condition is. If you have great marketing like we give you on our team and you're pricing the home correctly, just about every home we're seeing that, that we're listing and everything on the market is getting a ton of action within the first 48 hours. Almost every home is getting a multiple offer situation. So it's, it's a really good time to be a seller. If you're a buyer, what does this mean for you? Well, as always, you really need to be fully pre-approved ahead of time to make sure you're in the best position. And I'm not talking about just going into your local bank and getting a pre-qualification letter. I'm talking about having a reputable local lender give you the full mortgage underwriting upfront and giving you a formal loan approval so you can write an offer that's basically as good as cash. What a lot of sellers are looking for right now before even letting you into the home, we, a lot of times we have to send in a copy of your pre-approval. So if you're seriously looking for a home, there's a lot of them that you're just not gonna be able to see if you're not pre-approved. And with most of these homes having multiple offers in you know, 24, 48, or 72 hours, it's really important to make your offer stand out. So if you have the full underwriting approval up front, you can write an offer that's basically as good as cash and it's gonna make your offer stand out and hopefully get picked over the you know seven or eight other offers that that house probably is gonna get within that first couple days and hopefully not have to have you bid the price up because you're just presenting much stronger terms. Uh, if a home is vacant, you could be able to write an offer and close in as little as two weeks if this process is done. Uh, 10 days, I think is the, the legal limit for how quickly they can get something done. So you know, it's really important to do that to make your offer stand out. If you have any questions about the housing market or what's going on here in South Florida, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. You can even send a smoke signal or carrier pigeon. However you wanna communicate, we got your back. We're moving in South Florida. Thanks for tuning in.